So now here on the home page, we are going to implement the live camera feature for the object reduction. So for that, we have to add the dependency. So come here to the pubspec.yml file and you can simply add this dependency, which is camera colon and then the version of it. So the version that we will use for it is basically, I mean, the correct version is the 0 0.5 point at plus five okay this is the required camera version for this camera dependency so make sure to write the same version and then you can simply click on pop get in order to check if it is installed successfully or not so exit code zero which simply means the dependency has been added successfully in our project now come back to the home page and if you see this as a suggestion just click on get dependencies so it has been added successfully now the next thing is we have to go to the main dot dot and here we need to create an instance basically a list of camera since you know at real time we will get the frames or you can say the images using live camera it will do the testing so for that we have to say that camera description let us give it name as cameras and make sure to import the library which is camera this one camera slash camera dot, dot. okay and then we can initialize our cameras so we can do that inside here so we can first say that future void and this will be of type async because we will wait for the camera to come online okay so you can say camera equals to wait for the available cameras and then before that we have to make sure that widgets widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized so come back to the home page now and let's define the variables that we will need for implementing the live camera feature so we can say camera image and we can give it name as image camera then we will need a camera controller so we can give it name as camera controller we will need a boolean type variable give it name as is working and the default value for this will be false also we will need a string type variable result and let's initialize this with a null value so the first important thing is basically to init the camera i mean initialize the camera so for that we will create a function so we can simply say init And then we can initialize here first of all our camera controller so we can say camera controller equals to camera controller the description will be cameras which is our list zero and the resolution preset will be resolution preset dot medium Then we can say camera controller dot initialize dot then so we can say that if not mounted then we will simply return otherwise in the set state we will simply start the image stream okay by taking frame so we can say camera controller dot start image stream and let's change the name of this to image images from stream and then we will first check that 
if is not working and this is not working simply means that if the camera is not busy I mean if it is not busy that means we can start the live camera and we can deduct objects okay so hopefully you understand this so we can say is working first of all we have to make sure that we will set this to true which simply means that it is busy now and not, make sure to put a comma not a semicolon and then we can simply assign the image form stream to our image camera so we can say image from stream and again make sure to put a comma not a semicolon sorry for that so this is all about the live camera feature now we have to uh, basically uh, design the user interface for this camera preview i mean where we will see our live camera so we will do that in the next video lecture bye for now